Hello, it's Teacher Cindy. Uh, it's been a while since I've made a video, but I just have had this on my mind. I would like to share how to do feedback with VIP Kid. <clears throat> I have been doing VIP Kid now for 200 and something days. I have almost 800 classes under my belt. I do VIP Kid part-time. I also teach at a Christian school. I have children that go to the school and I do this as extra income. And I have been, I signed my second contract so I have learned a few things in the last few months and I just wanted to share a video about feedback because I have watched a lot of videos on YouTube and I've had a lot of um, different ways that I've gotten information and only one time have I seen how someone explain how you can do feedback on the app on your phone by talking to it which really helps me because um, usually in the morning I'll do three classes and then I have to hurry and get ready for school and go out the door and so it's really been helpful to me plus sometimes when I'm typing if it's like a Saturday and I'm doing a bunch of classes and I get so my eyes get like I just want a break from the screen so it kind of helps me get a little bit of a break from the screen by doing it on my phone so this is the app um, most people know what the app is right here on my iPhone and what you're gonna do to do the feedback is you're gonna go to the phone you're gonna click on the app and then you're going to it's gonna tell you that you have some feedback to do in the to-do list right here and so what you can do is you go to that to-do list and it will tell you exactly um, which classes that you have to do for feedback and so you're going to look at that list and you're gonna press on the one that you want when you go to that list you're going to see that it's gonna tell you to do the feedback so right now I don't have any feedback to do but say I would go to my student and I can go to their name and then it's gonna take me to right now I have previous comments but it's gonna take me to a screen where it's gonna be blank and there's gonna be a little microphone down by the keyboard and you're gonna press on that little microphone and then you're going to be able to talk and it will beep when it tells you that the time is up so you might do something like this press the button and then you go um, thank you for having Ella come to my classroom today period Ella was attentive and uh, I'm trying to think of some things that I would say um, spoke very clearly throughout the entire lesson period now you will have to say the periods and you will have to if you want to like put things in quotes you can say quote the sight words today were quote any that or I think Ella had like the pronouns so quote he she I you quote period and then you're gonna proceed that way what I do is I will be talking to my phone but then I'll open my computer or my iPad and I will kind of if I haven't if it hasn't converted to a video yet I will go through the materials pages so that I can say exactly what was in that lesson um, I don't repeat everything in the lesson but um, the pages kind of refresh my memory on what actually happened during that class. If there are specific words that I need to mention in the feedback, I do have a notebook pa paper right next to my computer, and I will go ahead and write down any extra words or specific um, notes that I want to remember for the feedback. And... Um, 
So it's really a cool way to do it. Now, when I go through and I do the whole entire feedback, I will usually at the end, I will say, um, respectfully, comma, your teacher, comma, Cindy, and then mine's Cindy VBL. So I will say that your teacher, comma, Cindy VBL, something like that at the very end. And then once you finish that, you press the done button. Then you will swipe it over and you will have the teacher feedback. For the teacher feedback, I usually make it a little bit shorter and I'll just, it's sort of notes to myself because sometimes teachers don't really want to read the feedback or they, um, you know, they don't want to read the entire lesson. They've studied the lesson. They might, like if the kid was especially squirmy or something, I might say, you know, make sure you have really interesting props or I might say student read fluently uh, make sure you have extra extension ideas something like that and then I usually put in what I use for reward and that's more for myself because um, when I'm going through the notes quickly for the next class I can kinda have an idea of what I did the last time and I don't repeat that two times in a row so then you swipe the teacher feedback, press done, swipe the teacher feedback, and then you can just press easily the levels like excellent, 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 excellent. Then you press on level usually, unless it's something unusual course that we went through. If the student couldn't do anything, I of course wouldn't put excellent. But um, it's easy, you just press the button and then you are done and then press submit and it's a lot faster to do it this way than to go back to the classroom type it all out on the computer and and do it that way and if you aren't sure that you really want to keep it that way you could go back to your computer and edit it I believe within an hour or so you have to edit it and then uh, that's a possibility too sometimes if the name is unusual what I'll do is I'll read back my feedback and I will copy the name and the first time and every time I wanted to say the name I will just copy paste I will just paste it paste it paste it paste it in so I don't have to write the name several times throughout my feedback I do usually have to go back and edit a few things before I press the done button but do make sure you press the done button because if you go off that page, the whole thing is erased. That's the only downside to using the app and talk to text is if you do go off the page for any reason, it erases and you're done. So what you could do is if you have to do something else, you could just like copy the whole entire feedback and then go do whatever you had to do and then come back and paste it and that should work. So that's just a quick way of doing feedback, and I do not use Feedback Panda at this time. I have used the Google Slides um, planning thing, which helps a lot. But with that, I found a lot of the Level 2, because they have switched um, the materials that they the comments don't line up. So I end up having to redo my own for Level 2 anyway. So it just, it's good, but it's not the best. So I think the best thing for me right now is I'm enjoying using the app. So I hope that might help some VIP kid friends do an easier feedback. Just talk to it. Now, if you don't want to do it off the top of your head, you could just write down a little bit of a plan or a few sentences on a piece of paper. I also have some notes like that I have written down on different comments that people, uh, one teacher said they put this up by their um, computer. <laughs> Sorry about all that racket. Um, it's about behavior issues, blends, fluency, reading comp uh, comprehension, confidence, IT issues, vocabulary, grammar. These are just some ideas of what to add into the feedback. So I hope that helps and I would like to do um, some more helpful videos, but that's something that I 
haven't seen a lot of information about is um, how to do the feedback quicker. Some people have like two screens and they're doing simultaneous feedback. I haven't figured out how to do that. So this is what works for me for now. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.